Hello watchers and hello subscribers. Welcome to 43rd Ruby tutorial. This is again Shrix from Smartherd. In this tutorial, I will just brush up your coding skills of what we learned previously. Now, with the help of this feed menu. Now, this is our required output. Now, we have to prepare a menu card in which we will ask the user to place their order by giving the list of menus like pizza, burger, sandwich, juice or nothing. If user want nothing, then he has to press 5 like this. Now, if user enters fun, then we have to print kindly wait your order for pizza has been placed. Now, again, if user presses 3, then we have to print kindly wait your order for sandwich has been placed. Now. The cycle goes on 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1 like this until user press 5. Now what if if user press 5? If user press 5 then we have to print thank you visit us again and this will end our program. So until user press 5 we have to print all these things kindly please wait kindly please wait pizza sandwich juice burger like this according to their wish. Now, in this sweet example of menu, we will use the quotes like quotes of class, then getter and setter, then while loop, then case statements. All four things are combined in our sweet example of menu class. Now, let's begin our coding in the same tutorial itself. Now, let us define our class first, class menu. This class menu is actually user defined, it is not a predefined. You can write my menu, menu underscore shrix, menu underscore smarthood, whatever. Now let us define a attr underscore reader. This is actually a getter. Let's say length underscore quit. Yes, this creates our instance variable length underscore quit like this. Why it is error? I think space should not be here. Yeah, no space. Now let us define our constructor. Define initialize initialize like this. Within the bracket, we have to use one parameter. Let's write asterisk menu underscore args arguments. Now this asterisk menu underscore args I have explained you earlier also and I will discuss with you now so what is this actually now let's define our instance variable menu underscore args equal to let's say menu underscore args itself now let us define our instance variable length ength underscore quit equal to at the rate menu underscore args dot length now don't worry about these two statement guys I will explain in detail why I have written and what we're going to do with it don't worry about it now let us define an object menu equal to menu dot new yes now our constructor is parameterized so we have to pass our parameters here let's write our data like this first let's write pizza then burger sandwich then again fourth one juice like this and our fifth option was what quit right now we are actually sending the range of datas like large number of datas pizza burger sandwich juice and quit so in order to store all this data here instead of using the five variables here i have just defined asterisk menu underscore args when more than one data are being sent to this constructor then asterisk menu underscore args automatically gets converted into an array so menu underscore args is a one dimensional array which is having the five elements like this now 
here I have defined at the rate menu underscore args now this instance variable is storing all the values of menu underscore args array into this variable now at the rate length underscore quit we have just defined a getter here a purpose of getter is to just return a value of length underscore quit now here we are not returning anything now at the rate length equal to quit equal to this array dot length so it is actually giving the length of this array and storing in the length underscore quit now let us define a method to print all the values pizza burger sandwich juice and quit and ask for the user input in the class itself I'm defining it defining a method def get menu choice yes now in this method itself in order to print the things we can use the loop let's say menu underscore args yes each underscore width underscore index then do then parse item variable index variable now yeah let's end it now this is a different kind of loop each underscore with underscore index now this loop will extract two values from this array menu underscore args one value will be the item that is pizza burger quit whatever and second will be the index 0 1 2 3 4 like this index of the item of the array now let us print it sorry put us let's say let's use interpolation first yeah index plus one this plus one I think you must be getting why I'm writing this dot space then again interpolation item now our index is 0 1 2 3 4 but we have to present 1 2 3 4 5 like this so 0th index plus 1 equal to 1 then first index plus 1 equal to 2 like this 1 2 3 4 5 that is why I have written this very simple now let's see what's the error yeah let us write a common comment here to make it clear print the menu right now let us actually print now please place your your order sir like this the statement will ask for the order from the user now let us ask for the user input let us define a variable user underscore choice equal to get us dot to underscore i yes whatever user is inputting so that is a string so that string is getting converted into a what to an integer suppose user enter 1 so user underscore choice get that value 1 now let's continue our this example in the next tutorial guys so catch you guys in next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment below my video this is shakes signing off